All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those little powder orders yet? Yeah. With the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adnan Qureshi with New Japan Pro Wrestling of America, and Fred Rosser has been a fixture in New Japan Strong since its inception in 2020, putting on some of the most fantastic matches in the brand, including his incredible rivalry with filthy Tom Lawler that culminated at Collision in Philadelphia, where Fred Rosser defeated filthy Tom Lawler to become the second ever strong openweight champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling history. Now, we are here for a live meet and greet with the champion himself, Mr. Fred Rosser. You can head to the link in the description or in the pinned comment in the chat at the Tokon Shop Global and get yourself some Mr. Doe Days Off Fred Rosser merchandise that will be signed right here live on the stream. So be sure to get your orders in. Any orders that are placed during the meet and greet will be signed by Mr. Rosser before he leaves the building today. So without further ado, let me introduce to you, he is your strong open weight champion, Mr. No Days Off, Fred Rosser. Amazing introduction, Mr. No Days Off is in the house. You've been my biggest supporter since the very beginning. Since I walked into New Japan Strong, you welcomed me in with open arms, so thank you for having me. Thank you for being a part of this meet and greet. Very, very special part of New Japan Strong, Adnan. I appreciate that very much, Mr. Rosser. How are you feeling today, champ? I'm feeling good. You want me to do some karaoke? I was going to just sing my theme song. It's your meet and greet. You, you cannot can debate you how you block the hate. Mm -hmm. I've been grinding, and now I'm about to rock this place. Anybody that gets in my way will get dropped today. You want to get dropped today? I don't want to get dropped, sir. No, I'm, I'm not here to get dropped. Okay. I'm here to... To tell the this people, isn't karaoke? No, it, well, it can be if you want to be, but technically it is not karaoke. 
But in the meantime, what I, what I am here to do is introduce uh, to the fans at home watching on the New Japan Pro Wrestling YouTube channel uh, some of the lovely merchandise that they can purchase here from you, Mr. Fred Rosser, that you will sign live for them right here on our Token Shop meet and greet. Should we do that? Absolutely. And, you know, you support me, I support you. When you're a part of my family, my social media family, uh, you're part of my family for life. So support New Japan strong support me support all of us because new japan strong is so sacred to me uh and when something is sacred to you you treat it differently this new japan strong championship i was just telling everyone here i have not washed the blood off this title because it means the world to me when uh when i was presented with this championship title I grabbed it from Tiger Atori and I kissed it. I grabbed it and I kissed it with all the blood that was on me. And I haven't washed it off because New Japan Strong is sacred to me. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I get off track okay. a little bit. You got to keep me on track, please. No worries about it. Like a lot of people, including myself, would say that you are the lifeblood of New Japan Strong. And that championship is absolutely proof of that. That's funny you say that. I like to consider myself like the Tommy Dreamer. Mm -hmm. the heart and soul of New Japan Strong. So it's very important that I stay in my lane and that's what I've been doing from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Stay in your lane. There's so much out there. There's AEW, Impact, WWE. For me, New Japan Strong is sacred and I stay in my lane. And when you stay in your lane, no one can beat you when you just stay in your lane and just stick to it. All right. Well, let's introduce to some of the people some of the stuff that they can buy right now on the Tokan Shop Global and the link in the description. So head over to the Tokan Shop Global. First of all, you can see right here the New Japan Strong shirt right there. I am wearing it right now. The, strong, the sh show that you can see our champ, Mr. Fred Rosser, on on Saturdays at njpwworld.com at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. As well as over here in the center, we have the Red Lion Mark shirt. That one is an actual import from Japan. So if you are buying it internationally, just remember to get a size up, most likely, just so you know. Otherwise, if you're buying in Japan, size you are, perfectly <laughs> fine. The line mark has become very important to you over the last few years, Fred, so we're glad to have the line mark here and for you to hopefully sign some. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then the brand new Fred Rosser Block the Hate Arms t-shirt. This is the 2.0 version. 2.0 version, yeah, and it's the equality sign. You know, we all get bullied for various reasons, but in order to be strong and successful, you got to block the hate, and it's a movement for everyone, not just for some, it's for all. You know, as a kid growing up, I had a speech impediment. Sometimes my stuttering comes and goes, but I embrace it. I don't give a damn. I'm 38. I don't care. I was an overweight kid growing up. I didn't let those disabilities hold me down. I pursued my dreams of being a WWE superstar, and I pursued my second dream of being part of New Japan, New Japan Strong. And I always say, don't let your dreams just be dreams. Go for them. Absolutely. And that's what the arms thing is. It's just block the hate. Yeah, yeah, block the hate. Okay. You know, I'm off the clock now. Don't test me now. Oh, no, no worries. I, I will put your beep through this damn table. I, I, don't I, test I, I me. I'm not, off the clock. I do not want to go through that table. That, that table is meant for holding up your championship and. Uh, Yes. You remember what I did to Hikaleo, right? I, I do. I do. Yes. Yeah, you almost got in the way. You almost got hit, right? I, I, uh, yes, I do remember. I was very scared that day, and I do not want to incur the wrath of our strong open weight champion. Okay. All right. That table, though, is also holding up uh, the two pins that are over there. We have the ARMS logo as a pin, as well as hashtag block the hate as a pin. Practice so, what you preach. I'm rocking it. The block the hate pin. Practice what you preach, baby. Sorry to cut you off. No problem. So if you do end up purchasing either one of those pins, uh, we can't exactly sign the pin, but you will be receiving a card that is signed by Mr. Fred Rosser if you do purchase one of the pins for an autograph. And then speaking of autographs, we have these two lovely portraits here of our strong open weight champion, Mr. Fred Rosser, with the strong open weight championship. And I went through hundreds of pictures with the staff here at New Japan Strong, and these are my two favorite pictures. I'm my own worst critic. The staff will tell you, oh, I look fat in this picture. Mm -hmm. Oh, I look great in this picture. So thankfully, they picked the best pictures for you guys, my family, not my fans, my family. There you go. We're all family here for Mr. No Days Off here at New Japan Pro Wrestling. So why don't we start by taking some of the questions that your family has submitted for you? What do you say? Anytime, any place. Let's do it. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's start here at the top here. Uh, first off, we have uh, George here from Walnut, California, and he got himself a portrait there. 
he says here, congratulations on the big win over Tom Lawler for the Strong Openweight Championship. I don't recall ever seeing you busted open that badly before. <laughs> what was going through your mind when you were getting back in the ring after almost being counted out? Well, George is a very special person to me. Uh, he is my first New Japan, New Japan Strong fan. Uh, again, I get kind of long-winded, so I'm going to keep it short, but it was probably November, September, no, I'm sorry, November 2019 at the Globe Theater, but rewind that, September 2019, I had ran into Lance Hoyt at a show in Pomona, California, and we came up together in developmental. Hmm. And uh, he asked me how I was doing. I said, I'm doing well, uh, but at the time he was going strong with New Japan. And he asked me how I was doing. I said, I'm doing well, but I've always had dreams and aspirations of doing New Japan, but I was always intimidated in the style. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, well, New Japan's running a show at the Globe Theater November 2019, mm -hmm. right before the pandemic. And I showed up. The show started at 7 p.m. I was there 5 p.m. because I'm still a fan. I'm still a student of this business. I wanted to touch the ring, feel the ring, feel the ambiance of the Globe Theater. And I watched your show from beginning to end, and that question was running in my head, do I fit in, do I fit in, do I fit in? And after it was all said and done, uh, I said, man, I fit in with these guys. And George, who I'm about to sign for, he was my first New Japan fan that ran into me. I was mm -hmm. just in the crowd watching the show, and he asked me if I was Darren Young. I said, yeah, that's me, and uh, we stayed in contact ever since then. So George is my first New Japan strong fan and I'm happy to sign this for him. So, mm -hmm. so make it out to him and what else do I have to say? Oh, so uh, he asked... Uh, oh, the question was like... Uh, that he uh, had never seen you busted open so badly before. What was going through your mind as you were bleeding that as basically and right before you almost got... The referee gets to 19 and yeah. you barely make it into the ring. So what's going through your mind? You're losing all this blood. Well, the, you're about to get counted out. What happened? The blood was affecting my vision terribly. And like for me, I was just... You can watch it back. I was feeling where the pole, the guardrail was. All mm -hmm. right, the guardrail's here, so the ring has got to be straight. So I just kept crawling and crawling. Mm -hmm. I just didn't stop. And then I felt the soft pad, which meant that I was closer to the ring. And then I started pulling the apron, and then I'm just listening to the count. I just move, 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 19. And I just, uh, by the grace of God, I, I made it, I made it, and I was losing a ton of blood. I felt weak, I felt dizzy. Mm -hmm. I literally almost fell off the stage. If you watch mm -hmm. it back, I, I just my vision was impaired. Um, but 24 plus minutes in, I overcame a huge victory, a huge obstacle of defeating Tom Lawler for this prestigious championship title that means the world to me. So yeah, I hope that answers your question, George. Awesome, awesome. So what to jo to George and yeah 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 you can you can write that to George if you'd like yeah that's George. Go ahead and sign that. Wait, how do you spell George? I, I know how to spell it, but I just want to make sure. Oh, of course, uh, G E uh -huh. O R R G E. G. Just want to make it right, you know. Yeah. Uh, C T E. I always make excuses. <laughs> oh, my head, my it's head. A, it's a dangerous business. Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. All right, well, Fred is signing that. I'd just like to remind the New Japan fans that we will be live in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Grady Cole Center on July 24th for New Japan Strong Presents High Alert. We have some matches that have already been announced for that. We have a huge triple threat match that is happening as Hiromu Takahashi is coming over to the States for the first time in almost four years as he will be in a triple threat match against the LA Dojo's own Wild Rhino, Clark Connors, as well as another man making his strong debut in former IWGP heavyweight champion, uh, junior heavyweight champion, El Desperado. And I also know that our strong openweight champion, we don't know your opponent, but you will be in action at the Grady Cole Center, North Carolina. Isn't that correct, sir? Of course I'm going to be there. Yeah. I'm the strong champion. You know, don't, don't interrupt me, my, uh, uh, my, my special message to George. No of course I'm going to be there. Sorry. And I hope I can be as good enough champion as Tom Lawler was. He defended this championship with honor and pride, even though he was an asshole. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to keep it PG, guys, but he defended this title with pride, and I hope to do the same thing. I don't know who I'm going to fight. Mm -hmm. I don't know who, who New Japan has me up against. Mm -hmm. But one thing's for sure, I'm just going to put my head down and keep moving forward and keep having bangers with everyone. That's how it's always been with me. Mm -hmm. Anytime I find out who I'm working for New Japan Strong, 
What do I do? I research them. Mm -hmm. I study and I pray, I study and I pray, and I study and I pray to have bangers. And that's what I got to do. So, George, I hope you love it. It sounds like even though he was a very heated rival, it sounds like you have a lot of respect for Filthy Tom. And you know, people don't like competition. Mm -hmm. People do not like competition, but I love competition. I take it head on. I love when a some bitch is better than me because it's going to push me to work. Mm -hmm. It's going to push me to move forward. So I love Tom Lawler in all actuality. I love him because he brought the best out of me. Okay. All right, well, uh, next up here we have... Uh, Michael here, Michael Smith from Hamilton uh, in Ontario, Canada. He's just got uh, the, uh, he got the uh, Block the Hate, the uh, okay. ARMS logo V2 right there. Represent, all right. And what's his name again? I'm sorry. That's uh, Michael. Michael. Fan of yours from Canada. All right. Uh, what part of Canada does it say, huh? It, it said Ontario. He's from Ontario. Uh, Ontario, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you wrestled up in Canada uh, many times in your career. Yes, yes. Um, I've been blessed enough to uh, wrestle all over the world with WWE, you mm -hmm. know? And I'm going to talk about WWE because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. If it, wasn't for, if it wasn't for WWE, I wouldn't have been able to bring all my experiences there to here to help mm -hmm. elevate New Japan strong because that's go. all I've ever wanted to do. I didn't, first, I didn't want to be champion. I wanted to be able to work with talent and elevate them, you know? Mm -hmm. I just so happened that, you know, hardest worker in the room and look where it got me absolutely okay right. i'm sorry i, I go uh, no, no uh, uh what's the name again michael that is michael okay <laughs> that is michael so uh so just sign it michael uh yeah you can just go ahead and sign it michael or you can just put your signature I don't think signature for, yeah okay. just signature on that one he didn't ask for a personalization okay. on that one uh, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, on July 30th, New Japan Pro Wrestling will be live for Music City Mayhem at StarCast 5. That'll be live at 2 p.m. Central on Fight TV. You can order the stream, uh, stream right now, or you can still get tickets to the event right now on StarCast.com. That's StarCast with two R's, don't forget. There this you for you, Michael. Represent. None of us are strong as all of us, baby. The Ooh. small. That so works. you'll fit into this nicely, baby. There you go. And thank you. Thank there you for you the go, support. Mike. Thank you for supporting Mr. No Days Off. All right. Fred Rosser, you will also be in action at Music City Mayhem, correct? Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there. I'm <laughs> See, people are laughing. They think it's funny, but it's not funny. I'm going to be in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in Nashville mm -hmm. defending this. I don't mm -hmm. know who it's going to be against. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It could be you. Uh it could be anybody, but I'm going to be a fighting champion. And I've said it in interviews, I, I, and I, I'm calling myself, I'm the people's champion of strong. I'm for the people, and the people were behind me the night that I won this championship. The night that I won this championship, it didn't matter whether, whether I was black, gay, it didn't matter, man. The people were rooting for me, and I've never experienced such a raw when I made him tap out the ST, uh, the, uh, the cross-faced chicken wing and the STFU combined. I've never gotten a reaction like that in my life. So, you know, of course I'm going to win this, w defend it, and I'm going to defend it with pride. All right. Well, for, <laughs> for the sake of my own health, I hope I am not your opponent in either one of those shows. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to move on here to number, uh, our next one over here from Hiroki in Hiroshima. Okay. Hiroki got uh, he got a uh, the arms 2.0 as oh, well right. as he also got a portrait to sign. And Hiroki says, uh, "I want you to write to Hiroki." So he does want you to personalize it to okay. Hiroki. Uh, and then he asks, uh, "Do you have any routines before your match?" Routines before a match? Well, everyone knows he. I like to get to the building early. Yes. So if the show starts at 7 p.m., I'm going to be there very early, stretching, getting my mind right, feeling the ambiance of whatever building that we're in. So uh, I, I don't like getting the shows late. There's a saying that I learned in wrestling. If you're five minutes early, you're late. If you're late, you get fired. No, if you're five minutes early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you get fired. So mm -hmm. it's very important for me to be on time. And I explained that in the YouTube documentary leading up to the fight with Tom Lawler. I do not like getting to the building late. So mm -hmm. um, 
I fast. I do the intermittent fasting, so I don't eat till after my match. So if it's a show day, I might not eat till nine, ten o'clock. Mm. Uh, so that's the way it is. Yeah. So that's my whole routine. I like to get to the building early. All right. Go okay, ahead. now um, Hiroki. Help, okay, now help me with the name. H I R H I R O K I. Okay, I represent, yep. baby. Yep. That is a great documentary that we had put out. You can watch right now on the New Japan Pro Wrestling YouTube channel. It's a two-parter called No Days Off, about Mr. No Days Off himself, Fred Rosser, on his journey toward the Strong Open White Championship. As well as on the uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling English YouTube channel, you can, and actually also the Japanese one, you can catch classic episodes of Strong every single Thursday. So be sure to check out Mr. No Days Off's documentary, as well as classic episodes okay. of New Japan Strong. There you go, Hiroki. Boom, there is a t-shirt for you there. Don't forget, when we are live from Music City Mayhem, we've got huge matches scheduled for that. We got John Moxley taking on El Desperado for the first time ever, and not, okay. not just any match. It will be a no disqualification match, as well as Hiromu Takahashi will be in action there as well. Represent. Taking on Blake Christian as well as Clark Connors and Davey Richards will be going one-on-one -on -one also at Music City Mayhem. So very exciting. If I fight anyone, I've been saying in interviews, I have a dream match of fighting Moxley. Oh. You think him and I would have a, a banger? I really feel in my heart. It's something I, I've been thinking about every day, every day. Man, I love to work with Moxley. I love to work with Moxley. Mm -hmm. He would bring the best out of me, and I would definitely bring the best out of him. So. That's a dream match of mine, so help me spread the word. There you go. That, that absolutely would be a banger, absolutely, with the strong open weight champion and now the interim AEW world champ. That'd be a, quite the dream match to see those two worlds collide in that aspect. Yeah, why not? Why not? Give it a shot. Give me opportunity. Give me a shot. I, I, I won't disappoint. All right. Next up here, we've got uh, Nick here from Providence in Rhode Island. Just a portrait, no personalization here. Okay. So. You said Nick? Uh, Nick. Yeah. All right. Don't need to personalize it, just one, that one's good. Okay. That's right. There's a lot of great matches that are coming up. This weekend is going to be filled with great matches because the G1 Climax 32 is starting on NJPWWorld.com. And actually, the first two nights are going to be free. So if you're not a subscriber, you don't have to worry for the first two nights. You can tune in and see some incredible matches here on night one. We've got... Uh, Kazuchiko Okada taking on Jeff Cobb. We've got Sonata versus Jay White. Tanahashi versus Aaron Hanare. Will Ospreay versus ELP. That's just night one. Night two, we got Taichi versus Ishii. Yano versus Jonah. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Kenta, and so much more. So please tune into the G1 Climax absolutely free this upcoming weekend. All right, so next up here we have, do, 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 that is going to be John from New Jersey. He's got a portrait here. And he asked, hey, Fred, what was it like being in the Nexus? Oh, I get, I get asked that a lot, John. Um, it, was a, it wasn't a lot of fun because I wasn't comfortable with myself. Mm. There were seven guys, you know, we had a lot of pressure on us, you know, so not being yourself and doing wrestling, you know, being, tired, uh, being afraid of the mic and always doing wrestling promos like this to sound tough and sound masculine. I don't have to talk like this anymore. Mm -hmm. Even though I was a Shane Douglas, a franchise uh, fan, because he had that raspy voice, mm -hmm. so I would emulate him to hide who I was. I don't have to do that anymore. But yeah, during the Nexus, I just wasn't myself. Mm -hmm. Now, if the Nexus would have debuted now, I think I would have been a lot more comfortable with myself, mm -hmm. but so many guys, you know, and teams don't last forever. You know, there's going to be breakout stars and there are going to be people that just completely stop wrestling, you know. But when you look at all of the members of the Nexus then and now, like, they said at one time I was the weakest link, but I'm really the missing link. And, and the proof is right here, you know what I mean? Just slow and steady wins the race, baby. Slow and steady wins the race. That's how I roll. There's absolutely nothing weak about being the strong <laughs> openweight champion, if you ask me. Uh, and this is for, wait, uh, Nick? This one was John. John, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I remember you and me actually a long time ago, like early on working together. I, I told you I actually had attended that SummerSlam where you were in the main event with the Nexus. Team Nexus versus Team WWE. That was quite the night, I remember. Yeah, and I was eliminated first. Um, 
Uh, it wasn't what I hoped for, but still having that opportunity. Um, I'll never talk bad about WWE. They're my experiences, you know, and I learned so much. And it's stories that I can carry over and share today and forever. So uh, regardless, I was part of history. Mm -hmm. Those experiences help build and make you the man that you are today. Yes, sir. You know, that's what helped start the Block the Hate movement. It's what made you an inspiration to a lot of people, not just in New Japan, not just WWE, but all over the world. And there you go. That one is for you, John. Hope you enjoy that. All right, next up here we have a Derek here from Minnesota. Derek got a portrait, and he is asking if you could sign it to him. So that is to okay. Derek. Okay. So Derek, we appreciate you. I'm sure Mr. No Days Off appreci uh, appreciates you as well. Derek, if you happen to be in California in August, you can come see Mr. No Days Off here at the Vermont Hollywood on August 21st, as uh, New Japan Strong will be doing Fighting Spirit Unleashed. Fighting Spirit Unleashed tour will be then. We know Mr. Wait, no Days Off. What's wait, up? where's Derek from again? He is from do, 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 Minnesota. Oh, okay. But if he happens to be down here in, in, in August, he can oh, come yeah, see Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, the closest would probably be Chicago to him, maybe, huh? Oh, yeah. Hopefully he would have Windy City Riot then. Yeah, I mean, uh, since we've been having uh, crowds now, I just hope that we can grow and I can be, be a part of the movement, so. Mm -hmm. It's funny you mentioned that because Fighting Spirit Unleashed was the first New Japan Strong that had crowds in it back in 2020. Oh, uh, yes. 2021, yeah. Yes. That was Thunder Studios. Oh, that was the, oh, that was the first crowd or I thought that the was first, the second crowd? That was the first crowd we had for a Strong. Oh, I see, yeah, okay. That was Fighting Spirit Unleashed. So yeah, Fighting Spirit Unleashed once again, August 21st at the Vermont Hollywood NJPW 1972 for ticket information. Mr. No Days Off will be in action. Also, Switchblade Jay White, the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, will also be in action. So definitely get your tickets to join us there. Uh, next up here, we have Joe from Connecticut. Joe got a portrait. Uh, and Joe just has a comment here. He says, congratulations on winning the belt. You are an inspiration for millions. Yeah, you know, whether it's on the big screen or on social media, I want people to see me and who might identify with me and say, well, if he can do it, so can I. And representation is so important. So however I can represent and the more allies, the more friends I have helping me spread the word. I see what goes on. I see how you help me mm -hmm. uh, promote uh, not only this meet and greet, mm -hmm. but everything, you know, mm -hmm. it's a team effort. Yeah. You know, there's room for everyone at the finish line. So. You, you help promote me, I help promote you, and um, it's a win-win. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry. Um, Joe. Joe, okay. That is Joe. Just want to remind everyone, you can still get some items right now at the Tokon Shop Global. Check the link in the description or at the pinned comment in the chat. Did forget to mention, anybody who is buying anything for this meet and greet, we have this pair of primetime players uh, attire worn by Mr. Fred Rosser during his time in WWE. Everybody who purchases an item from the Tokon Shop Global during this meet and greet and before this meet and greet is entered in a raffle to possibly win these attire. And he will, and Mr. No Days Off will sign that piece of attire as well. So it is the trunks as well as the knee pads. And hopefully no one puts it on eBay or, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was saying earlier, um, I never ever wanted to give away my gear or sell it, but I read in an interview RVD did, uh, who I'm a big fan of. He said that why let the stuff sit in a garage collecting dust? There might be someone out there that collects gear and they might want to hang it up so why not you know display it like that instead of in a um, garage so yeah those are special to me because i've been promoting it on social media mm -hmm. the giveaway um i wore those probably 20 2013 i think they might really be my coming out trunks uh mm -hmm. because i wrestled cesaro cesaro was literally like my coming out match when it was him and uh him and Jack Swagger. Swagger. Him, yeah. and, him and Jack Swagger. And I just remember just being so nervous, what kind of reaction I would get. I was nervous, nervous, nervous. And I remember Cesaro just saying, don't worry, you'll be okay. And that's my worst Im impersonation of him. But <laughs> he assured me that we would rock and roll and he had my back, I had his back and it was scrappy. So those are very special and near and dear to me. So hopefully someone will enjoy them as much as I did. All right. 
Uh, next up here, we have a Lee from Portland in Oregon. He had a portrait and he asked, uh, will you please personalize this to Robert the Peanut Butter Player? Thank you. <laughs> Robert the Peanut Butter Player. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah. To... There you go. Maybe one of the most interesting ones, I would say. <laughs> Ro wait, Robert the Peanut Butter? Robert the Peanut Butter Player. He did say player and not playa, which I think is what he should have put, but that's what he's got right now. Wait, don't make me laugh yet. <laughs> We are about halfway through our meet and greet here, guys. You still got time to get in orders for Mr. No Days Off, Fred Rosser, for our Tokon Shop Global online meet and greet. So feel free, put in an order, get yourself in that raffle to try and win a pair of primetime players' trunks. As Robert, the peanut butter player, he's getting his personalization on right now. Don't forget to catch Mr. No Days Off every Saturday on New Japan Strong on njpwworld.com, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. And guess what my favorite sweet is? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it chocolate? Is it chocolate? No, it's not chocolate, right? No, man, it's oh. peanut butter. Ah, perfect. I love peanut <laughs> I love peanut butter, my favorite snack. Uh, I do the intimate fasting, as I said earlier, I think. And that'll be my snack when I get home after this prime time meet and greet. My uh, peanut butter's waiting for me at home, my favorite sweet. Robert. The peanut butter player. There you go. This one's for you, baby. If anyone from Jif is watching, please sponsor <laughs> Fred Rosser. He is willing uh, to take it. Any, any, any peanut butter. You don't have to pay me. Just send me jars <laughs> and jars and jars of peanut butter. Cool. Robert, the peanut butter player. There you go. I hope you don't mind, Fred, but I have a question for you. Okay. Now that you've become the strong open weight champion, is there finally a time for Mr. No Days Off to take a day off? Absolutely not. I was just talking to the staff here uh, for New Japan and uh, you know you, uh, you've got you've got the uh, Charlotte show and Nashville show and the staff is saying oh do you want to fly back home mm -hmm. no nothing changes you know I want to I want to stay with the young lions I want to be with the staff if, I, if, if I've got a you know flights are expensive you know don't treat me differently you know mm -hmm. I love New Japan strong if, if I've got to stay stay longer somewhere with the young lions and so be it don't treat me any differently because you know when i got brought onto the team i didn't get special treatment and i damn sure don't want any special treatment now how do you like that i like it a lot do you think i'm gonna start showing up later no i'm gonna start start showing up extra early so nothing changes uh, i, I want to be able to set an example and show people that you know i am the people's champion mm -hmm. Lead by example, yes. Mr. No Days Off there. Okay, next up here, we have a Brian from Susan City, California. Okay, Brian with a Y or an I? Uh, well, it doesn't. that won't actually matter because he's asking to please make it out to Revenge of the Collectibles. Okay, that's yeah. cool. All so right. please wait, make that on. one out to that. Okay. And then he has a question. So his wait, question. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, wait, no uh, wait, let me get the name right. The Revenge. Uh, revenge of the Collectibles. I feel like that might be a store that maybe he owns. You yeah. might go up there. You never know. I guess we'll find out in the chat if somebody's putting it. Like, Google it. Revenge of the Collectibles. There you know. uh, help me spell collectibles. C-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-B-L-E-S. Revenge of the Collectibles. Okay, now, uh, now what was the question? The question that uh, Brian, or Revenge of the Collectibles, has is, what's been your most memorable match, and what makes that match so special? Uh, it'd have to be winning the tag team titles uh, with Titus O'Neil. That was a defining moment for me. That was my first championship, you know? And people say, oh, we wish you would have won the titles more, but whether I won it one time, five times, or ten times, I won it, and for me, that's in the history book. And can, can you believe we won the titles? Maybe 2015, mm -hmm. 2014, and I just literally, a couple months ago, I just got a replica title from them. Everyone gets like, mm -hmm. you, you win a title, you get a, a replica title, and I just got mine. I just got mine. <laughs> like a lot. Yeah, it's a long time, huh? It's shipping, a long time. The shipping was really cheap, <laughs> and if it took that long. Well, it's funny. I, I had, I can't say his name, but 
a friend in WWE. Uh, I always cry wolf. I always cry wolf about the story. Oh, I never got my title. I I, I wasn't hurt. <laughs> it it is what it is, you know. Right. Titus uh, Titus will know. He he laughs because he's got it hanging out for years, you know. But I was talking to the one staff member. I said, Yeah, I, ne I never got the uh, tag team title. A week later, for some reason, backstage in WWE, they had like um, uh, they had like dozens and dozens of those old tag team titles um for what reason i don't know why they had them backstage mm -hmm. i guess i don't know uh maybe a vintage sale or something but he saw he saw the titles and he was like to the merchandise people i need to get this one for fred rosser and he told them the story and the merchandise people were like here just give it to him give it to him and i finally got it wrestlemania weekend so when i was in dallas for mm -hmm. new japan strong that's when uh they presented me with the uh wwe tag title the copper title which i hated the <laughs> penny title i just hated it it just looked uh, you know ugly but beggars can't be choosers right. you know it was it, it, it was so cool to win the title you know mm -hmm. and i remember new day saying oh thank god we don't have to carry these titles anymore are you kidding me <laughs> i'll carry this title ever <laughs> forever and you got a, a very pretty championship in front of you that you're carrying yes. now as the strong open white champion and like i said it still has the blood on it i'm mm -hmm. not wiping it off there you go don't forget strong this upcoming saturday uh we have more in the uh tournament to crown our first ever strong open weight tag team champions we have uh, the stray dog army will be taking on the midnight heat as well as the dark order will be taking on ozzy open so far advanced tmdk and the team of christopher daniels and yuya uomura have already advanced in the championship tournament do you have a favorite to who might win the become the first ever strong open weight tag team champions uh um Uh, who are the names again? We got Yuya Uemura and Christopher Daniels. We got TMDK, The Midnight Heat, The Stray Dog Army, The Dark Order, and Ozzy Open. The Ozzy Open. Ah. The Ozzy Open. I tell those guys all the time, man, you guys are so innovative. And like coming to New Japan Strong, you get to see talent that you've never saw wrestling. You're like, holy cow, these guys are amazing on, on point, you know? Mm -hmm. they, really, they really belong here in New Japan, New Japan Strong, so I'm rooting for them. All right, Ozzy Open is Mr. No Day's off pick to become the first strong open weight tag team champions. Uh, next up here, we have a Joshua here from uh, Georgia, from St. Mary's, Georgia. Joshua, you said? Joshua, yes. Okay. And Joshua says, congrats on winning the strong open weight championship. Been rooting for you since your time in the other company. <laughs> oh, God. That's what they wrote. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's all right. It's uh, all right. Uh, this is a weird thing to ask, but why does Tom Lawler like putting your hair in his mouth? I just, uh, I just don't get it. Huh. Uh, hope to see you in next year's G1. Yeah, I hope to be in next year's G1 as well. Um, Tom Lawler is an interesting character, and that whole saying that we learned in science, opposites attract, like charges repel, we're just we're just both opposites and i remember when when he cut my hair and ate my hair and the intimidated family i had in the crowd i meant every word that i said in the backstage interview section where i said i was going to find out from the boys where tom lawler lived in vegas and i was going to pull him outside his house and i was going to humble him in front of his family mm -hmm. i meant every word that i said you know and um we just we just have we just ha I guess we have good chemistry I don't know I, I don't know what it is I, I don't know what it is but the fans seem to enjoy it because they vote match of the year not once but twice mm -hmm. and yeah I just don't know what it is but he's filthy he's filthy and he and he doesn't give a damn you know eating my hair mm -hmm. that doesn't digest like people still hit me up in the DMs asking me, wow, he, he ate your hair, he cut your hair. They're just people that don't even follow wrestling. They were, they were mes mesmerized by the story with us. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. I don't know why he likes my hair. I don't know either. And he, he ate it more than once. And that's a weird <laughs> thing. It's, it's one thing to do it yeah. once. It's another thing to just keep eating your hair. Yeah, yeah. He gave you, he gave you two free haircuts and that's, you know. <laughs> 
Um, but you look good. Uh, thank you. I would say health as well. Uh, I've been alcohol free since August 2017. So, Congratulations. I uh, didn't need AA. I just, when I moved to LA full time, I just decided to stop cold turkey because for me it was a problem doing it before speaking engagements, drinking before speaking en engagements, uh, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., before I go to the wrestling building. And this is stuff that I've made public in interviews mm -hmm. uh, that I would hide. Uh, hide, you know, being an alcoholic, you know? No, yeah. I don't have to hide anymore. Now, this is who, this is who I am. I, I don't do any of that stuff anymore. That's why at 38, I'm going to be 39, I look the way I look. Mm -hmm. That's very hard. Good, I look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To do it cold turkey, I mean, that's, a hey, congratulations on that over five years at this point, right? That's yeah, I didn't want to be dependent on it when yeah. I moved to L.A., uh, so, yeah. There you go. There you go. That one is for you, Joshua. Joshua, here you go. Represent. There you go. All right. Uh, next up over here, we're going to have Eric here from Del Rapids, South Dakota. Eric? Yeah. With Eric. a C or a K? Eric, that is with a C. Okay. E R I C. Like to remind everybody also on Thursday nights, you can catch New Japan Pro Wrestling on Access TV each and every Thursday at 10 Eastern, 9 Pacific, 7. Oh, no, uh, 9 Central, 7 Pacific. Sorry, I got my time zones mixed <laughs> up there. The various matches from New Japan Pro Wrestling have aired from all across, either from New Japan USA or back in the homeland in Japan proper. So don't forget to catch it on Access TV as well as Classic episodes of Strong on the New Japan Pro Wrestling YouTube channel. And there you go. That is going to be for Eric from your Strong Open Weight Champion. There you go, Eric. Thank you for the support. Doing those speaking engagements has been uh, very good on your, you know, your, from your life experiences, you know, beating addiction from coming out and all that. What, is those, what did those speaking experiences really mean to you to keep doing that for as long as you've been doing? Well, before, like, I, I hated speaking. I hated the sound of my voice. But coming out, I made the decision to represent. And by being the first, uh, I owe it to the community to instill confidence in our youth and to always lead by example. So my whole block hate movement, being able to talk at schools, whether it's fifth graders or college students or speaking for Netflix, uh, Netflix Corporation share my story. I always say daily, don't die with a story and you tell it. So, however, I can share my story because my fight is much more bigger than in the ring. It's outside of the ring, fighting bigotry and hatred, and trying to be the voice of the voices when it comes to not only the LGBTQ community but anyone that gets bullied in the silence. So. For me to be able to share my message means the world to me. So for New Japan, New Japan Strong to embrace my message mm -hmm. for all. Happiness isn't just for some, it's for all. Right. With all the craziness going on in the world, we need to laugh, you know. We need to laugh more. We need to uh, think positive thoughts. Like Bob Backlund would say, positive mental attitude, PMA, PMA. Mm -hmm. All right, that's awesome. Hashtag block the hate, everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, here we go. Here we got Koki here from Koki. Chiba in Japan. Oh, wow, okay. And Koki got a portrait as well as an ARMS logo t-shirt. Okay, and uh, is this personalized or? Uh, no, not personalized on this one, but they have a comment that says, I hope you and Tanahashi will be in Tag League. I look forward to seeing your match in Japan. Yeah, Tanahashi-san, uh, I don't know who bows low, low. You know, he bows to me, I bow to him, just so much respect. Uh, and we were talking recently, and he was saying, uh, he was talking about my boots, about how he likes to wear classic, you know, classic mm -hmm. lace-up. A lot of guys don't wear classic lace-up anymore. Mm -hmm. So I remember Tanahashi-san running into my mom when we were coming to a show, and Tanahashi went right up to my mom and said, your son missed no days off. Me, I tired. I tired. I said, no, don't say that about yourself. <laughs> You're never tired. Never he said, no, tired. no, no, no. I tired. Your son missed no days off. Like so much respect. So much respect. And uh, yeah, I love it. So hopefully we can represent uh, in Japan. Uh, I've always wanted to team with Blue Justice. So oh. you know, never say never. And 
you know, he can still go. So Blue Justice, Mr. No Days Off, why not? I'd love to have a bucket list match with him. Mm -hmm. Yuji Nagata, I complimented him when he had his match with Kurt Angle back in Impact. TNA. Oh, that uh, was Wrestle Kingdom three, actually. I, I, I believe so. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> man, Kurt Angle is one of my favorite wrestlers. Mm -hmm. And Kurt Angle, I compare Kurt Angle to being in the ring with Tom Lawler, and that's another story uh, about the believability and the intensity that Kurt Angle always had, and Tom Lawler delivered with me. I felt like I was in the ring with Kurt Angle. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome to see you and Japan teaming up with Yuji Nagata. I mean, Hiro, uh, Koki here wants to see you team with Tanahashi. I mean, just in general, just seeing you in Japan at some point would be awesome. I, mean, I still have a lot left in the tank, you know, so um, represent, baby. All right. That's I still have a lot left in the tank. I still have a lot left to offer, so um, I'm going to keep going until the wheels fall off. Okay, and just uh, and just sign my... Just, just uh, put your name down. Okay. Mr. No Days off, Fred Rosser. That's going to go to Japan for Koki. Thank you for participating in our online meet and greet. Speaking of participation, we're in the last last few, you know, 10-ish minutes of the meet and greet at this point. Right. So if you have an inkling to get a signed piece of Fred Rosser merchandise, this is the time to head over to the Tokon Shop Global right now. Get yourself Thank a signed you. piece of merch from our strong open weight champion. Get yourself entered in the raffle to possibly win this primetime player's attire signed by Mr. No Days Off, Fred Rosser. You can do it right now. This is your last call. Get your orders in and let's move on here. So next up, we got Kyle here from Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. How far is Raleigh from Charlotte? Uh, uh, you, yeah, it's got to be at Stellan's throw. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's, 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 my, that's my whole thing with it. <laughs> Stone's throw. Something like that. You know, Stone's throw. I don't know. Just some form of distance that I cannot walk to. How about yeah, that? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to be there. So come, come support New Japan Strong, the that's hardest right. working roster on the planet. That's right. So, and who's this for again? This is going to be for Kyle. And his actually, he wants, I think, written here. It says, uh, block the hate. NJPW Strong Openweight Champion. So I think he wants that there. Okay. And he says, congrats on the title win. Hope you keep the title as long as possible. Keep working hard. Thank you. I got to defend it first. And like I said, um, I always say, you know, that my three life hacks are, one, surround yourself with people who light up anytime you walk into a room. Number two, slowest is the fastest way to get to where you want to be. And number three, the top of one mountain is the bottom of the next, so keep climbing. I'm not done yet. That one right there, top of one mountain is the bottom of another. That one really resonated with me, I remember, when I heard you say that one. It, it's the truth, and I live by it daily. Yeah. Kyle, there's your signature that's being done over there. And since you're in North Carolina, don't forget, July 24th, just down the road, a stone's throw, a distance that I cannot walk. NJPW Strong, high alert, Charlotte, North Carolina, at the Grady Cole Center. NJPW1972.com, four tickets. Huge matches are going to be there. Eddie Kingston versus Jake something. On top of our strong open weight champion, who you just got an autograph from, come see him in person now that you have an autograph from him, right? Come see the entire roster, not just me. I'm my own worst critic, you know, <laughs> so uh, I'm always constantly watching my stuff back and my own worst critic, so watch everyone. Jay White, everyone's going to be in the house, so definitely come check us out. There you go. All right, here we've got Jeff here from South Elgin, Illinois. I know it's Illinois. I just like saying Illinois. <laughs> uh, no I don't comment know what the heck you were saying. Yeah. I'm trying to speak English here. Mm -hmm. So that one for Jeff right to there. To Jeff? Okay. Yeah. What's been your favorite match that you had on Strong? Was it winning the Strong Openweight Championship? Was it a different one with Tom? Was it one with someone else altogether? You had some uh, battles with Hikaleo, one that went all over the building, one that almost killed me on the ringside. <laughs> I mean, honestly, sharing the ring with Hikaleo, Bateman, Clark Connors, uh, everyone I share the ring with, I feel like uh, I elevate them, they elevate me, they mm -hmm. bring the best out of me and vice versa. Uh, just those names I've mentioned, mm -hmm. um, I've, had, I've had so much fun with. So um, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 
I think your work in New Japan has really spoke for itself. I mean, I think this has been some of the best work of your entire career, honestly. And I mean that as, as a fact, actually, that you've yeah. done incredible things ever since you've shown up here at New Japan Pro Wrestling two years ago, and I'm only looking forward to where it'll go next. Yeah, New Japan, New Japan Strong has given me the freedom to just be me and create the best stories possible. Um, the style is different, you know, it's hard hitting, you know, there's not a lot of razzle dazzle, there's not a lot of bright lights like WWE, and I always say whether it's in front of 50 people or 10,000 people, this business is still so much fun for me, so, um, yeah, it is what it is, baby. Here you go, Jeff. There you go. All right, and then it looks like we're going to be down here to our final question here. So this is going to be from Annie here in Carson, California. Okay, not too far, huh? Not far. Uh, who's this again? Annie. And Annie writes here, congrats on winning the strong belt. What other belts are you going for in the future? Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't planning on, you know, capturing the New Japan Strong Championship. I just, like I said earlier, I just put my head down and went to work rolled up my sleeves and went to work, studied and prayed, studied and prayed, studied the style, studied my opponent, and then prayed. Pray for good health, pray for uh, having bangers with each person I step in the ring with. You're only as good as your last match. Mm -hmm. The match with Tom Lawler and I, uh, Lawler, Rosser, three, that's over now. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the top of one mountain is the bottom of the next. Right. Who's my next opponent? You mm -hmm. know, who's my first opponent? Mm -hmm. So I'm not worrying about any other titles. I wasn't worrying about this title. I wasn't worrying about the tag title. I was just worrying about just doing me. So that's all I can do. There you go. And who's this for? This is for Annie. Uh, and how do you spell that? A-N-N-I-E. There you go. So even though you aren't looking for other championships on the, on the horizon, New Japan Strong is introducing our first ever strong open weight tag team champions. So those will be crowned at the Grady Cole, July 24th in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'll be there and I don't know who the hell I'm fighting, but I'm gonna be a fighting champion. There you go. I, <laughs> I do have one question about you as far as championships. Let's just say hypothetically that you were to maybe Try and go for double championship and also become strong open weight tag team champion. Who on the New Japan Strong roster would you want to be your tag team partner? Tom Lawler. Tom Lawler. Ooh, why? Is it just because like it, be better better enemies, better partners? Exactly. However you want to put it. However you ha however you want to put it. Mick Foley, uh, Mick Foley and uh, Stone Cold, they were opposites, right? Or, yeah. No, no, Rock and Sock, right? Rock and Sock. They were opposites, so why not, you know? Um, yeah, I'd say Tom Lawler. Oh, wow. Okay. I'd say Tom Lawler. So whoever wins the championships, maybe they have a lethal lottery and they pull a name out. Team One, Tom Lawler. Ooh. Rosser. Never say never. Who knows, man? That, that, you guys were already so fierce as opponents. I can't imagine how fierce you guys would be as a tag team. So He wants to win, and I want to win. So yeah. there's room for everyone at the finish line, like I said earlier. All right. Well, we are going to close orders here for the raffle, and we are going to do our raffle here for this here set of primetime players gear worn by Mr. Fred Rosser. About 2013-ish, would you say? 2013-ish, baby. It's time, to, it's time to take this meet and greet home with this special giveaway. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it, baby. All right, so we're going to pull out here a random number generator here so if we can get that prepared. So uh, this is going to be interesting. So right here, one lucky fan <sighs> from this Fred Rosser meet and greet is going to win a pair of primetime players' trunks. Signed by our strong open weight champion, Mr. No Days Off, Fred Rosser, right here. So, champ, whenever you're ready, just hit the screen over there once and let's find out who's winning these mm. attire. For the freshest spare, freshest pair of primetime player trunks, who's gonna win it? They, All right. They're, they're fresh. They're fresh. Seven. Seven is going to be Joe from Connecticut. Oh, snap. There you go. Joe, congratulations. You have just won yourself a pair of primetime players' trunks. Now, damn it, don't put it on eBay. Don't sell it. You hang it up. 
you take a picture and you tag me. I don't care. You do whatever you want with it. <laughs> but congratulations. Well, before we get there, you're going to have to sign it for him. So let's okay, go ahead. So, uh, Did you also want to sign the knee pads or just the trunks? Uh, wh whatever you think. Okay. Whatever you think. However you feel you want to do. So let's go ahead and get uh, this signed. Okay. And you said to, what's the name again? George? Joe. Joe. Okay. Joe was the one who won these. Okay. All right. You got it there? Yeah. All right. Cool. There you go, Joe. So that's your name. Take it off this so you can. Okay. That way you can actually like sign it without it being caught on anything. So that is going out to you. So Joe, not only do you have a portrait coming, you are going to have a fresh pair of tights <laughs> that you can wear for your debut match. Just change your name to Darren Young as a wrestler. Oh, oh, ho, ho, you, you don't want to use that name, you know, <laughs> you'll, you'll be dealing with legal. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, there you go. It is. Represent, baby. All that's missing is the dance now, the millions of dollars dance. Well, we can do it to wrap it up. Oh, you want Come to? Come on, get together. All right, all right. All this, right, everybody. We, wait, hold on. We start to the left on my cue. This okay. whole prime time. Okay. Meet and greet experience for New Japan. New Japan Strong has been worth millions of dollars, baby. Millions we start dollars. to the left. Let's All do right. it. Millions, millions, of dollars. Dollars. Millions, millions of dollars. 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 Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you for the support. Of course. Thank you, Fred. Ladies and gentlemen, your strong open weight champion, Mr. No Days Off, Fred Rosser. Fred, do you have any last comments for the people of New Japan Pro Wrestling, for the wrestling world, anybody watching right now for the online meet and greet. <sighs> Do what you love. New Japan Strong is sacred to me, and I'm just so happy to be a part of the family. Uh, support the hardest working roster on the planet. Don't get fooled into picking Impact over AEW, WWE over New Japan Strong. Watch it all. Support it all. We appreciate it, baby. Block the hate. Salute the great New Japan Strong. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, your strong, open white champion, Mr. No Days Off, Fred Rosser. There you go. Thank you very much for being here with us tonight, Fred. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our live online meet and greet here for New Japan Pro Wrestling on the Tokan Shop Global. Uh, we will see you next time. Please, everyone, take care, stay safe, and don't forget, if you want to see us live, njpw1972.com for a future event information. If you want to be with us at uh, Music City Mayhem, starcast.com, S-T-A-R-R-C-A-S-T.com. Get tickets for that or watch it on Fight TV. You can also get the feed there. But until then, I'm Adnan Qureshi. Take care, everyone.